what's up everyone um yeah we just got the g35 back uh welcome or i guess i should say first uh welcome back to the video um this is i guess going to be our track prep video but we just got the g back from gabe and uh i just gave it a quick wipe down and yeah she's all ready to go um he actually called me last night uh while he was working on it and I uh, was talking about how bad it sounds. He ended up putting another resonator in it. So, yeah, it sounds a little, this is the wrong key, a little bit better. Actually, a lot better. Um, it's pretty damn quiet, too. Yeah. You can, like, barely hear this thing. It sounds like a stock car, but yeah, so he got that done. He mounted the muffler like so far in that uh, it's actually melting for, so far in and then like up that it's melting the bumper, but this bumper is pretty, uh, both bumpers are pretty messed up and mangled, but they get the job done, so I'm not gonna worry about that I actually need to pull the car forward and double check a couple more things uh, David is gonna be coming in a little bit with his dad's truck for us to uh, go pick up the trailer get loaded up uh, I still got to pack my tools and everything else for tomorrow but yeah as we stand right now we are all ready to go for uh, my last drift event of the year. At least that's what I'm calling it. Things can happen, but whatever. So, yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at. This clip's probably a, actually it's not too long, but yeah, one thing that I need to fix because it has been causing issues, which at some point I'll figure out a better fix for this. But where I have to have this ground wire for the throttle body, it uh, rubs the hood. So we keep contacting. That's actually really soft too. Um, but yeah, so I'm probably gonna take the tape off, maybe put, find something a little bit better than just random electrical tape for that. Um, what else did I find on my way home? My clutch was kind of acting funny, but yeah, that probably needs to be flushed. But yeah, other than that, um, just our regular um, track prep checklist, whatever, check the oil, pack all my stuff. Um, I even got, I got four more tires mounted for this thing, I got Francis's old uh, Ling Longs, put on some wheels that I had. So we'll see how these do. I'm gonna burn off the old Ling Longs. Um, also seeing how uh, the road huggers that I have on the white wheels, I don't know if you guys saw that, but how the road huggers will do compared to the Kumos, which I've ran for two events now. And the, I'm so far, Kumos are number one, but that could change. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down and take care of these couple little things and then wait for David to get here so we can go pick up the, uh, the trailer. All right, got a little bit cold. It's been a little bit, but we got the trailer. Um, I went and took, ate some food. After we got the trailer, uh, David and his dad were kind of on a time crunch, so we only had time to pick up the trailer, get it loaded, and then them kind of just drop it off here. So I still got to strap it down. So we'll probably do that real quick. Strap down the trailer. Um, all my tools, chairs, and stuff like that's already packed in there. The last thing that I have to throw in the car real quick is my floor jack. And then tomorrow morning when they come back, um, throw the pop-up canopy in the bed of their truck. And I believe that's it. We're pretty much good to go for uh, tomorrow. 
Um, this video is probably like, doesn't have a lot of footage, but yeah, I'll see if I can figure out something to, for filler. Um, I did fix that ground thing. I had some of that like heat resistant tape that's like made of aluminum or something. It's kind of like a metal tape. So I put that on there um, to stop the hood from kind of rubbing on it and chafing through the like electrical rubber tape that was in there. Check the oil. It seems good. Um, at least from what I could tell. And uh, yeah, gave the car a quick wipe down, cleaned everything. Wheels are looking, I mean, not the best, but better than what they were before. Same thing with the car. I mean, there's still a little bit of dirt there, but it was a quick wipe down to just make it look like I didn't drive this thing through the swamp. Um, yeah, there's the melted exhaust. Gabe, you, you know, it was a last minute, like, quick exhaust fix. But, yeah, all my hangers are kind of just safety wire wired throughout the underneath of the car. So, it seems like it's a little bit more, or it sh in theory, it should be a little bit more stable than, like, the rubber isolator mounts that they have in there. The, like, donut ring looking things that usually hang the exhaust. So, because if I, if I break that, like, we have other issues other stuff in the car is probably broken but um yeah all the tires are aired up and uh we are we should be all good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and put this down get this thing strapped up and then uh just do our i guess final checks on the on the trailer and and such so yeah if i don't pick up the camera again then Either this will be a standalone video, or this is actually definitely going to be a standalone video. I'll find like some kind of, it'll probably just be a, a shorter video, but yeah, I'll see you guys at the track tomorrow. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this stuff. Been doing a lot of driving, a lot more driving than actually working on cars, which is good and a weird change of pace for me, because usually I'm working on cars more than I am actually driving them and racing. So let's get this thing strapped down and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning.